Hello, and welcome to Kentucky Route Zero, Act One. Act One of five, I think. Only four have actually been released, I think, as of right now. So five is still AWOL. I don't know when it's coming out. I think the developers have just said, it'll be out when it's out. Just don't, we're not going to tell you shit. So that'll be fun, just one day, hopefully in the near future, we'll just all be sitting at our computers, and then, boom, it will just magically appear. Isn't that a nice idea? But yeah, Kentucky Route Zero, it's a point-and-click adventure game. I don't know a lot about it, I know it's very mysterious, it's very spooky, you know, stuff like that, and I'm excited to dive in. Let's start Act 1. Act 1, Scene 1. Or Act I, Scene I. Equus Oils. Equus Horse. The name of the play that Daniel Radcliffe showed his dick in. Also, that same play was a movie with, uh... I think it was Richard Burton? It was somebody Burton. Some sort of Burton. Well, yeah, this game looks very pretty. It's a tr dog... An old hound and a straw hat. Both have seen better days. What about this truck? It's your trucky truck. What do we got here? A moving truck rumbles softly to itself. Painted on its side are the words Lizette's Antiques, Furniture, Glassware, Curiosity. So when you click, it's like a horseshoe. Uh, it lands on the ho Oh, that's cool. Uh, let's look at the intendant, this man. Joseph sits between gas pumps in a Queen Anne armchair. His hair is gray, and his glasses darken. Okay, uh, well, might as well say hi. Hey, Joseph. Damn, did you hear that, Rick? Trunk full of bottles, I don't know, beer bottles, whiskey? A satire or something, and spill booze and glass all over the interstate. What a mess! I hope they don't come down here looking for anything. We blew a damn fuse and it's all shut off! I went through about three different accents, reading that out. Did I hear a dog? What's your dog's name? His name is Homer. His name is Blue, just some dog. I don't know his name. Let's name him Homer. That seems like the most symbolic option. Bit of a shuffle or a drag in Homer's step. Oh, sorry. I said his name is Homer. This is Joseph chatty attendant. Bit of a shuffle or a drag in Homer's step. Uh, kinda an old one, isn't he? Well, I guess he's got some stories, then. Hey, here's some jerky for Homer. I made it myself. Didn't turn out too well, but I bet a dog will eat it. I wouldn't give that to my dog. Getting late, right? I can feel the sun on my neck. Bet it's just a few feet off the horizon. I've got a delivery to make on Dogwood, but I'd rather watch the sunset. I've been driving all evening looking for a five at Dogwood Drive. Do you want to ask Joseph for help? Do we trust Joseph? Do we want Joseph to know where we are? I mean, maybe he'll follow us and give us more of his weird-ass beef jerky. Maybe he'll make us into beef jerky, and I just noticed the dog is sitting down. Oh, uh, that's cute. The art style in this game is... Fucking gorgeous, I gotta say. Sun is animation, the animation with the sun and the clouds and the lighting. The way that this game shows light is just beautiful. I think this is as good as a sort of like a retro 8 bit whatever, whatever can get. And this isn't even retro. I mean, I don't know why I said retro. I think that's definitely a label that a lot of indie games get. It's a nice sort of category to put things in if you don't want to get too descriptive just oh yeah it's like a you know retro art style hey and there's stuff like your undertales that really are you know extremely retro but uh stuff like your super meat boys and stuff like this i think shouldn't be put in that box. I say having just put it in that box like a minute earlier. You know what? Let's trust Joseph. 
Joseph, you seem like a swell guy. Hey, hey, I understand. You've got to do the job you're paid to do. Maybe get some rest somewhere in there, maybe have a drink, and then back at it. There's dignity in that rhythm. So Joseph, you know, it's the old South. I'm assuming we're in Kentucky. It seems like a safe assumption to make, given the title of the game is Kentucky Route Zero, and we seemingly are on a road. Possibly Route Zero, that seems like another smart assumption. But very, you know, American sort of guy from the South, old American values, you know, rest and drink, there's dignity in that. I don't necessarily buy into that, but I wouldn't take that away from anybody. So, uh, how long have you been working here? What's your rhythm like? Do we want to get to know Joseph? I feel like we already do. Then again, I just, I don't know what type of game this is. It seems like a sort of slow pace, sort of indie, makes you think, but who knows, maybe co old Joseph's gonna start attacking us with a chainsaw if we don't act nice to him. So, maybe we want to hedge our bets a little. So where is Dogwood Drive? How long have you been working here? What's your rhythm like? Uh, hey. Uh, what's your rhythm like? Why not? Oh, I just like to listen to the TV. I used to do a lot of poetry on the computer, but I don't have the ear for it lately. Uh, okay. So there is tech- yeah, there's a TV right there. I wonder if that gets a good sim signal. Uh, listen, you and Homer would have been driving up and down 65 all night. Dogwood Drive is on the other side of- well, to get there, you've got to take the zero. And there was a weird animation with this word. Yeah, look at this. It's like there's something behind the word zero. That's interesting, slash suspicious, slash slightly unsettling. The zero is a tough route to find, but you can use my computer to look up the directions. You'll have to head down into the basement and reset the circuit breaker first. I'll be happy to have those whining lights back up anyway. It's too damn quiet out here. The basement door is back there in the office. Appreciate your help, friend. Oh, and here. Take this lamp. It gets dark. Well. Old hound in a straw hat. Guess we'll just uh, make our way in the world today. Taking everything I fucking got, I'll say that much. Basement's down there. Just look at this. Look at this. That is a nice sculpture. I wonder who made that. I'm guessing it wasn't him. Uh, yes, basement, if that's the only thing I can interact with out here. Now we're going subterranean. And we still got a glimpse of Homer and Joseph. Down there, sign. What does the sign say? Long-haired, freaky people need not apply. A dusty, rusty sign. Oh, dusty and rusty. Oh, boy. Is bolted onto the wall. These are the rules. Rule one, don't talk about Fight Club. One, no open flames near the gasoline. Number two, no consumption of beer or spirits on the premises in case of sudden dark nick. Dark nick nick. Do not panic. Relax. Count backwards from five. Number four, strictly limit time spent in the basement to fewer than three minutes of every hour. F fuck is that? Well, that is also fucking disquieting. I've got to say, oh. Hi, basement people. Emily, Ben, and Bob sit in folding chairs behind a worn card table. Papers, oddly shaped dice, and highway maps cover the tabletop. Mm-hmm. Oh, why don't we just go and uh, crash their party? Conway clears his throat. Have you all seen a breaker box down here? Oh, sorry, didn't know there was anyone down here. 
Uh, well, I mean, let's introduce ourselves. Sort of more of a getting to know you type of question. To Bob. You hear something? Uh, no. Sorry, I was looking at the rules again. Gets easier as you go. Look, you said to roll to five, right? That means you get to pick up your marker and move it anywhere on the map. So it's your turn now, right? Oh yeah, I guess so. Where'd you put that 20-sided die? So they're playing Dungeons and Dragons. And they can't hear me. Are they Dungeons and Dragons playing ghost people? Uh, or has time in the basement drove them crazy? Like the rules on the sign said. Because this basement is haunted or it has some weird ass effect on people. I don't know. I don't see it. Did you drop it? Uh, should be easy enough to find. It uh, glows in the dark. So should we bother talking to them again? Just sort of, hey? I just need to get by you for a minute. Did you lose something? I think it rolled off down to the left there, but I don't see it. Well, I'm not going looking for it. It's too dark down there. When you go down and get it, and I'll just study the rules here. Okay. If this is your first video that you've seen uh, that of mine, you should realize that I know that I'm bad at accents. I know that I'm bad at character voices, but I'm still doing them anyway. Huh. So presumably we have to find this, uh, this here dice. Dice Arena. Is this a pixel hunty type of thing where we just have to click around? Otherwise, I don't see what else I can do here except maybe go back up talk to Joseph, see if he has a dice, and maybe try and learn a bit more about what's going on, and I see the sun has moved. Hey, Joseph! My man! Just head back into the office and you can't miss the stairs. The breaker box will be somewhere on the right side of the room down there. There are some people in your basement playing some kind of game. In the basement? No, I don't think so. Maybe that uh, lamp light is playing tricks on you. Uh, okay, so um, that's that's weird. Let's see what's over here, because we need to find this dice, presumably, to progress. Whoa, what's this? I guess we now have this open just all the time. Oh, what's this? Okay, so that's just more... The animation... Is there anything that we can see? Any possible interaction point that we can make over here? There's a highway. An interstate highway, 65, running from Alabama up to just shy of Chicago. It ought to be quitting time in this part of Kentucky, but the daylight just won't shake. The sun just won't go away. Look at my, my dog is just horrifically emaciated. It's it's not looking good. Homer needs some needs a bacon bit or some shit. Jeez, battery's a weird kind of dog. I mean, I would accept that option as well. So we gotta do something. We gotta find some way to get the dice so that the possibly ghost-led game of Dungeons and Dragons can, in fact, continue. So are they still back there? Yeah, they are. Can we interact with them in any way? If I can hit that breaker box. I think you were right about the instant crisis rolls. There's a whole separate table of them in the back. 
I don't like that rule anyway. It's not fun. It's just random and frustrating. The randomness is what makes it... Okay. It's hard to try and get different voices from people. So, okay. Emily. We gotta find a voice for Emily. We gotta find a soul for Emily. So let's try some stuff out. The randomness is what makes it realistic, Bob. That seems good. Talk to some more. I really need to get the power back on. You seem pretty focused on that game. I still don't understand how you win. Roll a 20-sided die once for each player and refer to Appendix C, Table of Psychogeographical Anxiety Address Correlations. Locate the resulting street addresses on the road map and move each player marker to the appropriate location. Psychogeographical anxiety slash address correlations. Hmm. So this game is controlled by your anxiety. So the more anxious you are, I, I guess, that dictates the game. Some weird psychotropic type shit in this game. I'm gonna play this. That doesn't help. I don't think you can win. It says on the box it's a tragedy. Are they talking about this game? Is Are they being like some sort of postmoderny, hey, we're commentating on the game inside of the game type shizzle whizzle? Alright, so you can't win Kentucky Route Zero. But then again, can you really win at life? No. Can you really win at art? Is the only way to win at art to understand art? Or is reducing art to a game that can be won or lost reductive? Am I just spouting random bullshit at this point? Yes. Uh, okay. So this game represents anxieties. It represents psychology. It's a hopeless trudge through the psychosphere of America, Rust Cole style. I don't know. Let's talk to them some more because I don't think I can do anything else. You said you're missing a piece. Okay, so just to get started, we need that 20 sided die. Yeah, I get you saw on the roll. Well, hopefully, if you roll a 1, you drive into a ditch. If you roll a 2 or 9 or a 12, you have to write down a new anxiety and roll again. If you roll a 5, you get to move your piece anywhere on the map you want. This sounds like a whale of a game. So is this representative of life? Where life is just one big game of anxieties that can end at any time if you just screw up and drive into a ditch and die? Boom, game over. Huh. And if you're lucky, if you magically, you know, if God or whatever deity there is, or just pure dumb luck, you are successful and you make a whole lot of money and you're happy and everything goes right, everything is open to you. But of course, the odds of that happening are very, very slim. Bob, go get that die. It's too dark down there. Well, that should make it easy. The damn thing glows in the dark. Alright, I think I may have missed that. So... Ah! Uh, oh! Look at me! Conway picks up the glowing 20-sided die and expects it. The number 5 is facing up. It's just a small piece of plastic, but it has a reassuring, almost comforting weight. Now five, that's the number that you roll, you get to move anywhere on the board, your life is free. And whatever bullshit reasoning I attach to it in an effort to seem smart. He places the object in his jacket pocket. Can I turn on the light again? Yeah, let me turn on the light. Hey guys, boy, have I got good news for you. Oh, and they're gone. Well then. 
Folding chairs are arranged around a worn card table. The chairs are empty and the surface of the table is bare. I'm going to be a nice guy. I'm going to place it on the table. I mean, what the fuck do I need with a 20-sided die? I'm not going to be greedy and steal their goddamn die just because they're invisible ghost people and who were probably, like, died 18 years ago. We'll get up and Joseph was... Wait, were their names Bob, Ben, and Emily? Well, they ain't been around here since the great Equus Oil Gas Fire uh, 1922. Ooh, gee willikers. Yeah, okay. So things are already getting kind of spooky. We have disappearing people. We got my emaciated dog, and whoa. whole place just looks bizarro. Uh, why don't we just get the fuck out of here? I like this plan, so let's just go up. So Joseph, uh, you wouldn't have to know any ghosts named Ben, Bob, and Emily, do you? Hey, everybody's light now. And my dog is still wearing that stupid fucking hat. There it is. Just listen to those lights wide. <laughs> yep. Uh, there were some people down in your basement playing some kind of game, but they're gone now. <laughs> so you insist on it, do you? All right. Well, strange things happen on the ground, especially in the dark. So, computer's in the office. You're looking for Marquez. She knows her way around those roads. She'll get you to zero. The password is, uh, damn. I usually just feel it out. Muscle memory, you know? It's kind of long. Kind of like a short poem, I think. One of those short poems that really sums it all up. So you forgot. That's what you're telling me. You don't know what the fuck it is. Jesus. This is very... Jim jarmusch -y. If Jim Jarmusch made a video game, I think it would be similar to this. But it would probably have more black and white and coffee and cigarettes. And Bill Murray would show up. He'll figure it out. Well, I guess back to the computer. Computer. Conway taps a key, waking the computer from its reverie. Oh, boy. Is that a Werner Herzog reference? Of course, this was made before that movie, but I don't know. User. Conway. Joseph. Would it have my name? User Conway is not real. Well, that's fucking existential, isn't it? User, Conway. Try my name again. User, Conway is not real. Conway! Whoa, man. This is philosophical. Okay, Joseph. The wheels slide loose. Okay, if I was a weird old dude who lived in a ghost infested an, or a dungeon and dragons loving ghost infested gas station in the middle of nowhere with a massive horse head on it what would I, what would my computer password be look there's a dude on a tractor hey tractor dude wheel slide loose I like that that's what I'm gonna go with final answer for the million nobody saw the accident the moon throbs. It's late. Nobody saw the accident. You just breathe road. The lights whine. It will only get later. I like this. Password accepted. Huh. Well, you're very easy to hack into here. How's it going in there? Figuring it all out? Sure you are. 
So that's a, I don't know, that's an interesting password strategy. I've never seen anybody that has a poem for a password. Also, <laughs> I mean, you could obviously remark on the fact that uh, I shouldn't know this and I just randomly guess things and it just so happened to be right, but that's just obvious and I'm not gonna talk about that. Instead, what I'd like to draw your attention to is the fact that there was a TV sitting right next to him and now it's gone. Where the fuck did that TV go? It's not in here, I don't think. So where the fuck is it? Okay. Typing, messages, address book, games, exit. Let's try games. Games is not real. Wait, what? What the fuck am I doing?